Well, happy Thursday, everyone. And it's turning out to be a sunny one here. It's supposed to be warmer, warmer for this time of year. I won't say warm, but warmer. This may be our Indian summer that we're having. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, before I get started, uh, have you all watched uh, the video I released last night? I know some of you have. You left comments. Um, I wanted to add on uh, a few things. Uh, Albert's been doing more work since since summer. I didn't include that in that video um, because it did come after summer, and I haven't really got to film it much. I haven't been over recently, but uh, he he put in patio doors for his mom off of his mom's bedroom, uh, French doors. And now he's uh, putting in a patio out back of her bedroom for her to go and set and everything. And also another way for her to get out easily, you know, should there be a fire or something, it's right off her bedroom. And it's closer to the cars. If she has to go to an appointment or something, all she has to do is go right out her back door and up to the car. So yeah, he's been busy working and, uh, He's been doing it all by himself. He 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 had to find a friend to help him because, well, he didn't get any help from his family. But uh, that's another story. I won't go there, even though there's five of them. Did I say that? I'm sorry. I won't go there. I promise. Anyway, <laughs> oh, boy. Life's a mess, ain't it, sometimes? But we keep on going, and we just hope for... Our next good fortunate day and hopefully the cards will bring that for us today um, but yeah and and if you watch these videos if you like them be sure to give them a thumbs up please I appreciate it because uh, haven't been getting too many of those and I really appreciate it that lets me know that you're enjoying these segments and leave a comment too. I appreciate your comments. Um, and some of you are real faithful comment givers and I really appreciate that. You don't know how much I, I love hearing from you all. And I, I try answering them if, uh, if I can, some of them are just real short and sweet and there's not really much to answer, but, uh, yeah, if I can, I'll try to get to them. I haven't gotten to yesterday's yet, but, uh, I'll try to today. I've been putting Halloween stuff away. I know I still have it out. And uh, I've got about half of it put away so far. So, without waiting around any longer, let's get to those cards. Let's see what today brings. Okay. I brought out my rose quartz crystal ball for today. Because I'm going to do a segment today, as you already may have read in the title. Um, the zodiac signs most likely to be psychic. And today they're all in there, all 12 of them. It's just ranked in order of... Uh, most likely to have psychic abilities. Or in my case, psychotic abilities. <laughs> oh, that joke never gets old with me. Well, don't have to uh, choose one today. This one dropped out. I guess it's just, yeah, it's just one. So today, I guess the card of the day will be the King of Wands. And once again, I'll explain some of the symbology on the card. 
I love this set because this deck, the the Rider Weight deck. In fact, this this deck is one of the more popular ones, if not the most popular one you'll see on the market. Um, back whenever I got mine, you know, it was hard to find them. It, it was before the online buying stuff and all like that. It was before the internet, way back in the day. <laughs> Used to have to walk 12 miles in the snow, uphill, barefoot, just to get to school. <laughs> the King of Wands depicts a man who has his hand on a blossoming wand, and it is blooming, which is set to represent creativity and life's passion his throne which he's setting on as well as his cape are decorated with the salamander and the lion there's a salamander down there too and there's a lion the salamander that is biting his tail represents the infinity as well as the overall drive to move through all obstacles and that's what these salamanders are doing they're biting their tails there's one too the robe is bright. <laughs> I feel like Vanna White. The, the robe is bright. <laughs> and orange, resembling a flame, while the crown is shaped like a tongue of fire. The meaning of this card is just pure energy. Unlike the other wand cards in the deck, however, this particular one is not focused on pure creativity. Instead, the king is actually way more likely to take an idea and to decisively implement it himself. The king of wands is a natural-born leader of people, and he is also extremely capable. Once the king sets for himself a certain aim or goal, he is going to conveniently stick to it in an order to ensure that it becomes reality. The king of wands looks forward to all sorts of different challenges whether it is great or small, where he gets a natural adrenaline rush associated with solving of problems. Now in love, this means there's never a dull moment with the King of Wands, and in your love tarot reading, he can appear as an energetic, natural leader that is generous with both their time and their resources. Their fiery nature means that may have quite a temper, but he is quick to forget his anger as he is to incite it. With such energy, some folks may find the King of Wands to be rather exhausting, but he brings excitement to every situation. Should this card not appear as a person that is entering your life, this card can indicate a time of focus and perseverance. You may be putting extra effort into your romantic situation now, and this could have great rewards. If you are in a relationship, this card is a happy one. The love between you is passionate and deep, though sometimes you can still have an argument here or there. Okay, now for career. The King of Wands can signal success and respect in your field. These ideas are linked at the present moment. You do not have to pick which applies to you. If you see the king, it is likely you are in a high position. You might be a mentor to others. Alternately, those around you might see you as a laudable person with morals and values. The king also suggests a boom in business. Your career is doing particularly well right now. It's not just a temporary condition. There is longevity to your success. Your victories are likely the result of your ability to take chances when daring is needed and be cautious when it is required. Financially, you are good at managing money if you find the king here. You likely are in a stable situation because you can save if required, but are also willing to spend when the time comes for it. This balance allows you to appreciate and protect your earnings. Continue to practice those principles. Saving money exclusively can be wise, but spending money, particularly on others, can be a gesture of appreciation. If you are wise enough to maintain this equilibrium, 
Trust your judgments on investments and purchases. The stability and success you are experiencing now has the potential to be more permanent. Your good habits will sustain you as long as you continue to actively practice them. Okay, now to sum it all up, the King of Wands is a personality with the fire sign family. He's likely an Aries, but he could also represent a Leo or Sagittarius, which surprises me because I figured a, a Scorpio with that temper. This warm-hearted fellow is as fiery and loving as our favorite fire signs. When this guy appears in your day, you know that you are in for some loving surprises. The King of Wands is a good omen for both your romantic affairs and your career affairs as well. He can boost you financially, or he may signal a financial boost on its way. The card may not represent a person at all, but it often does. You may just see some warmth and fire come in a love situation, or you may take charge of love in a very sexy way that leads to some commitments. At the same time, you may also do the same in your work life. You may be the king of your domain and use creativity and intuitive influences to get ahead of your game. You don't have to be male to take on the influences of this card. You just need to be the leader of your pack in an influential way. So, it's talking about intuitive. And with that, I hope this might apply to you all in some way. Okay, now for the zodiac signs, most likely to have psychic abilities or various shades of them. For the zodiac signs with psychic powers, their abilities appear in many ways. For instance, you might think you just have good instincts when you do something and avoid disasters. Sometimes your psychic ability is only activated in certain situations. The strong feelings a mother gets when she senses that her child is in danger. Or when you meet a troublesome person and the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Well, they don't do that for me, but I do sense trouble pretty good. I'm pretty good at that. So you all have to see where I stand in there. As a Libra, I'll give you that clue. So whether you're clairvoyant or you see dead people, you're most likely to have some sort of psychic ability. In astrology, some zodiac signs are psychic and others not so much. Or they may be very psychic but choose to ignore it. Psychic ability can be very scary, especially if you don't know how to control it. You may deny that you're psychic, but that probably won't stop you from feeling when an earthquake is going to happen or you dream about a deceased one. So, okay, you all ready? Let's get started. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. And I'm going to count down to number one, starting with the least most likely to have psychic abilities. And sorry if I start out with you all, if you're at the bottom of the list. Okay. At the bottom of the list, number 12, we have Aquarius. You'd think a sign that was so associated with all kinds of new agentness would be more psychic, but they're not. Aquarius is psychic in a way of invention and innovation, but as far as being able to read what others are feeling or being tapped into the spirit world, not so much. And that's not saying this is 100% correct or anything. Uh, there are exceptions. You could be Aquarius and be very psychic. But in general, I'm talking in general. Okay, number 11, Capricorns. Capricorns tend to be more practical than psychic. 
They may have a strong sense about business opportunity, but if it doesn't make sense to them, they're not going to trust their gut and take a chance on it. There are times when a Capricorn may have strong vision or something, but they're too afraid they'll be judged on them, so they generally don't do anything about them. Number 10, Sagittarius. Sagittarians aren't that psychic and are constantly surprised by things which can be good and bad. They're not cynical, so they get a joy from little things. On the same note, when something goes wrong, they're completely blindsided by it. Sagittarians are perfectly happy with the now, so why should they concern themselves with the future? That sounds a little too much like making commitments. Okay, number nine, Taurus. Taurus is pretty grounded, but they do have the ability to sense boundaries with people and places. They won't overstep or overshare, and they know just how far to take joking around with someone. If you have psychic hits, you probably ignore them. Taurus is logical and pragmatic, and that doesn't go well with all that woo-woo stuff. <laughs> Okay, number eight, Leo. Leos have psychic timing. They don't need alarm clocks. All they have to do is tell themselves when they want to wake up the next day, and they normally do. They always know the right time to arrive at a party or how long they should stay when they're a house guest. Virgo. Now, Virgos have the ability to see the big picture, which is slightly psychic. They can look at a vacant lot, envision a house there, and how the neighborhood will rise or fall. They can sense both future opportunities and future threats. Every city should have a Virgo in their planning committee. Boy, if I ever made a bloopers tape. I won't say what I just said by accident, but <laughs> I had to edit that one out. All right, next up, number six, Aries. Aries have the psychic ability to know exactly what's going on next. They're the trend whisperers. It's a gift or a knack or psychic ability to know what's going to be a big hit, whether it's a band, show, or a performer. They just have an innate sense of what's destined to be hot. Feeling hot, 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 hot. <laughs> okay, number five, Gemini. Geminis have a very special psychic power called bilocation, and that's the ability to be in more than one place at the same time. For most people, this ability only happens in a mental realm, such as being engaged in one thing but thinking of another, or in dreams where your physical body stays in your bed while you're a ghost-like presence in another place. A rare few people are able to be in two places at once in the physical world, where you're in one place and people swear they saw you someplace else. I don't know if that's happened to you before, any of you Geminis. Okay, number four is Scorpio. Of all the zodiac signs, Scorpios come closest to actually being able to read people's minds. It's not just that they can tell what you're thinking. They also seem to have the ability to know what you're hiding. It's ironic because they themselves tend to be very secretive and mysterious. They hate liars, and that could be why they're always able to sniff out the truth. The information they gather physically, they use to manipulate and control others. Maybe they just don't trust people because they've seen their dark side, which can be just as disturbing as their own. Okay, number three. And this is the one, this is mine, I mentioned. Libra. Libras don't want to believe they have any psychic ability, but that doesn't mean they don't have them in large quantities. Whereas they can be clueless about themselves, they're right on when it comes to other people. 
Deja vu, past lives, premonition, Libra has them all. They like to think that instead of a psychic ability, they've, they just made a lucky guess. However, when someone makes lucky guess after another, it's beyond luck. It's something psychic. Unfortunately, Libra is too lazy to really pursue honing their psychic skills, which, according to them, they don't have any. <laughs> that is so funny because uh, people ask for a psychic reading, and I said, I'm not really psychic. I just do readings, and maybe, <laughs> maybe I guess I am. I don't know. Uh, I learn something new every day. Okay, we're down to the bottom two now. Number two, cancer. Cancer's psychic ability comes to them in terms of emotions. They can feel when someone is upset, even if that person appears to be calm. If cancer feels that a business dealing is off, they suspect that someone isn't being truthful, and they can feel it in their gut. They have a lot of empathy, which can trigger their psychic abilities, they're very sensitive to cosmic vibrations, especially when they're listening to music, making them one of the most psychic zodiac signs. They actually make excellent psychics because they're good at helping both the living and the dead with their emotions. Now, drum roll, please. Okay, the most psychic of all is Pisces. Most Pisces don't even know how psychic they are. They think their amazing sense of intuition is something everyone has, but it's not. Luckily, they rely on their intuition when making decisions. They can finish other people's sentences even when there isn't a strong bond between them, and they always know when something good or bad is about to happen. They're very compassionate, which is a good trait for someone who can see bad things on the horizon. Most of the time, their psychic ability comes in the form of a muse, with, which helps them with their art. Is it psychic ability or divine intervention? So there you have it. Okay. I don't know how you all are liking these segments. Uh, I've only really gotten one or two comments on it. And uh, I know uh, there uh, one viewer is especially looking forward to... Uh, hearing more about the uh, the sacred herbs that can be used in smudging. And I will go over that here at a future time, uh, probably very, very soon. Um, to be honest, I don't know really ahead of time what uh, I'm going to be doing a segment on unless I get a really good idea the night before. But... Uh, Let's just find out what tomorrow brings. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. Um, like I said, if you like, please leave a thumb up. Leave a comment. I sure appreciate it. Um, and may you have a blessed day. Peace. And please join us again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. Every shit, every shitty, every shitty should have a Virgo. Every city should have a Virgo. In astrology, some zodiac signs are psych. In astrology, some zodiac In astrology, some zodiac signs. All right.